Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. <clears throat> so today's upload is a little bit, uh, it's gonna be interesting, I'm telling you guys, because I'm noticing some signs of weirdness in the models. Uh, they're showing some sort of, I would say, I really don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like, almost like a polar vortex, but that would occur in a summer or in August I'm not saying you know it's gonna be record cold but I'm just showing you what the models are showing and uh, we'll just get into this but if you'd like to support this channel you could do so by subscribing all you got to do is click that subscribe button if it's red that means you're not subscribed if it's white that means you're subscribed and thank you so much if you do consider subscribing it really means a lot also consider liking the video while you're at it um you could you know go through this whole video and then consider liking it if you're not convinced yet so what I first want to start off at is looking at the relative humidity. So that's basically indicating us, uh, showing us what you know wh where it is a little bit more humid and drier, and we could basically tell whether it's going to be cooler. We could tell it's going to be cooler in this area because with cool air, there's always drier air, and you could see that. Um, it's the humidity is very low here 25 20 15 percent which many people are experiencing right now you can see hour zero and they are enjoying it because it's cool temperatures with low humidity the cold front passed through and cooled off like met like I was saying and many people are pointing that out so again uh, I had high confidence in that cool down and it did occur so uh, yeah that you know that that um, I that time it was uh, pretty forecastable, but if we look in a long range, you can see that this sticks around for quite a bit. This this, this uh, humid or less humid air, uh, this drier air, and you can see that nothing really interrupts it, and then it moves out finally. I would say around this weekend, where we start getting little bouts of moisture from um, the Pacific and the Gulf. Of Mexico and this uh, starts interrupting and bringing in some warmer air you can see there's a plume a fairly good moisture right there and that would probably bring some scattered thunderstorms but notice how you can see it's not all um, this is the GFS so it's not all humid a little bit drier bouts of air as well we could have another cool off around the August 2nd third time frame possibly we'll just have to wait and see then we could have a really big surge of moisture possibly noticing this model is doing this this is only one model so you know got to take this with a grain of salt but it's still a pretty good model global forecasting system and the GFS is very good when it comes to five days or under but unfortunately when it is uh, <clears throat> when it is uh, five days or more, it gets uh, it loses its forecastability pretty, um, pretty drastically. And you can see right now it's showing just kind of a mixed pattern, a little bit drier, a little bit wetter here. Um, nothing too remarkable in terms of the humidity. Uh, just a little bit drier now for the next couple of days across the eastern U.S. and then possibly getting a little bit more humid, but not you know terribly too bad. If we look at the say now, I want to show you what I was talking about. So. If we look at the GFS and we look at go to regions and we quickly go to uh, North America, I want to just show you the whole uh, the whole continent of North America. And uh, let's just go right here. And I want to show you something that is a little bit, uh, it's definitely caught my attention. So let's go to 500 millibar geopotential height and anomaly. And you can see that, uh, let's go down here all the way to a 96, um, hour 96, we see this like polar vortex, it's at the top, it has cooler conditions, um, there is a 540 line right there, so that means below 32 degrees, it, like the freezing, there, there is uh, below freezing conditions there. You can see this thing's just spinning, now it's right there, this is hour 168, it kind of fades away, but notice how it re-strengthens, so it kind of sits there for a couple of days, weakens, but then it just comes out of nowhere, re-strengthens into a pretty big behemoth, and notice how it's already sending down pretty big shock waves of cooler air into or yeah cooler air into the US notice how these tight gradients are forming and if we go further and further you can see that um, it starts respinning and could really um, produce more of a cooler pattern uh, across the US so possibly a cooler pattern is to occur into August now I am not saying yet uh, don't mark my words on this that a massive cool off is happening um, ridiculously cold temperatures no I'm just saying that there may be a you know 
it, there, there's some indications right now that there may be a cool off around early August. Now, is this going to hold true? No, because this is some early details. But notice how this thing keeps spinning and it, it, we don't know where it's going to go next. It could really start uh, pushing itself down. And if you look at the European model, since many people don't like the GFS for no reason, even though it's a good model, um, you could see it also has this right there uh, spinning. And it does weaken for a little bit right along this time frame. But notice how the European, you can see it weakens. But it also has it, uh, you know, going down very further south than what the GFS has it. And this would definitely bring cooler temperatures for the U.S. Notice how if you were to draw this out, the jet, the jet stream, how it would go around this would be something like this. Like this and like that. So that would bring cooler temperatures for these uh, th this part of the country. It would be warmer across the west, but cooler right here. So we would have to wait and see for that. Um, this The European model brings it down very far to the south. And I'm just pointing this out. Um, this is kind of speculation. And notice how that little circle right there, uh, that blue, that dark blue line, that's the 32 degree line. And notice how it's right there. So that definitely brings some frost um, up into uh, southern Canada, mid, mid portions of Canada, but obviously not the U.S., but uh, I'm just saying that this 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 looks like a fairly interesting feature. Looks like a fairly powerful feature. If we were to look at the, uh, I want to show you the two meter temperature anomalies. I actually haven't logged on them yet. I was just looking at this, and ju just based off that thing, I think we'd be looking at cooler temperatures just based off on um, that feature and let's see if that holds true so as of now this is our 12 our 18 you could see cooler conditions across the south and many people are experiencing it so if you're experiencing cooler temperatures right now comment down comment down in the comment box below you know say i'm experiencing cooler temperatures it's a nice cool off because um that's what i predicted and many people are uh, f you know feeling that now notice how it fades away around hour 100 uh by this weekend i i would fairly say it's it weekends and it's barely noticeable and we could start getting some warmth however um notice how right there again there's that there's that uh temperature anomaly temper temperature contrast from that little feature that we were looking at so uh again i'll you know this is uh, weather is very interesting but it's also very forecastable if you know um several things and you can see that as we go on further and further this starts dipping down into the u.s this feature and starts possibly bringing down cooler conditions almost as like a polar vortex type uh would this you know bring bitter cold probably not it would just uh cool you know things off but i'm not sure if this would even form in the first place so we have to get that sorted out um if we go back uh, to the 18 this is the 8 to 14 day outlook for um august 1st through 7th by the climate prediction center you can see they're showing warmth but they're not showing ridiculous warmth it, the confidence very low 33 40 um nothing too remarkable and i would say this is a safe bet at this point i would say that what they're showing right now is fairly con you know fairly uh fairly looking likely um because we, we're really unsure about what this feature is going to bring it could bring some cooler temperatures it may not but if we were to look at the ensemble uh, models um, this is the GEFS, which is a bunch of GE, uh, GFS, uh, basically, type models combined. And I want to show you what they're showing. They're showing something very similar, um, but obviously not as amplified, not as concentrated, due to the fact that uh, it's a bunch of models combined, so they wouldn't really be that aggressive. So let's, you can see the last a couple of hours of, why is this not working? Um, it's basically just, you can see it's stuck loading, and uh, for some reason it doesn't want to load. But, but it, you know, you can see that this is our 384, and it's showing, again, if the jet stream were to work around this, it would be riding like this, going up right there, and dipping down back like this. So that would bring, again, cooler temperatures to at least the eastern third of the country. Um, maybe not the south, but if this goes a little bit further, like the European model showed it going, then we could be really looking at um, some more drastic cooling and I don't know why this is not loading. Um, that's a little bit weird, but nevertheless, uh, I would just like to, uh, you know, I just wanted to show you this, guys, because this is fairly interesting, and I felt like if I wanted to show you this, uh, I would share this with you guys. All right, guys, so I finally got this thing to load, but only using the animation sequence. For some reason, these aren't working right now. It's probably to do something with my Wi-Fi. It's pretty weak.
Bro, I wanted to show you the, the GEFS ensembles. You could see possibly a ridge trying to build here around uh, next weekend. Maybe we'll have to see about that. So it could be a little bit uh, of a warming pattern. But then you could see that the, the, that feature, I don't know what to call it at this point, uh, is supposed to bring you know, chillier temperatures. And it's supposed to maintain that for quite a while, according to this. So we'll just have to wait and see about this. At this point, looking very interesting. If we look at the CFS weekly, I don't think there's showing anything in fact i haven't looked at it for quite a while uh week let's look at week three okay a little bit not that much um yeah no they're not showing really anything at all so uh that that's typical of the cfs that's okay so i uh, thank you guys so much for watching consider liking the video consider subscribing to this channel and i'll catch you all guys in the next episode see ya